Welcome to Pour Over Coffee Tutorial by Walker Solutions. Before we start, let's go through the tools that we need. First, we need coffee grinder. Hario V60 Ceramic Coffee Dripper. Hario Coffee Paper Filter. Hario V60 Glass Coffee Server. Digital Coffee Scale with Timer. Hario V60 Coffee Drip Kettle Buono. Walker Coffee Single Origin 250 Gram Sumatran Mandolin. The first step is to boil water. Measure out at least 600 grams or 20 ounces of water and boil it. The ideal water temperature for pouring over coffee is around 90 degrees Celsius. When water has started boiling, turn off the heat and let it sit for 30 seconds to 1 minute. Next, grind the coffee bean. Coarse grind size is required because the coffee is steeped in boiling water. The contact time between the water and coffee is much longer, which requires a coarser grind. Set the setting to coarse and range between 6-8 grind size. This size is recommended for this method. Next, pre-wet the filter. Rinse your paper filter to ensure that your coffee doesn't have any paper taste. It also ensures that your filter sticks to the sides of your dripper for a better fit. Place the filter in the dripper over your cup or carafe, and then for about 5 seconds, carefully pour hot water all over the filter in a circular motion. Then, discard the water that runs through the filter and into the cup. Make the coffee bloom. Pour the coffee grounds into the filter and gently tap it to make sure that the grounds settle evenly. Make sure that your pour-over dripper is placed snugly on top of your cup. Then, add just enough of the hot water to ensure that all of the grounds get wet. This process of blooming the coffee releases carbon dioxide while making the grounds swell and expand. This also releases the bean's wonderful smell and flavor, priming you for the delicious cup ahead. Make the first pour. Pouring over coffee may be straightforward, but it still requires some form of finesse. When you finally pour your hot water onto your beans, remember to take your time instead of just dumping all the water. The right way to pour over coffee is by pouring water slowly over the grounds, in a circular motion. Start at the outer edge of the coffee, the one that hits the filter, and slowly move towards the center, saturating all the grounds evenly. This should take roughly 15 seconds. Then stop and allow your coffee to drip before making the second pour. Once you see that there isn't a lot of extracted coffee dripping, or that the coffee grounds are not saturated with much water anymore, it's time to make your second pour. The interval from the end of the first pour to the beginning of the second should be around 30 seconds. Now for the third pour, as the coffee mixture goes through the filter, to extract your precious brew, pour an additional water using the same slow and steady motions as the second pour. This will take 15 to 20 seconds. As the mixture falls down into the bottom of the filter and into your cup, make your fourth and final pour. This should take 15 to 20 seconds as well. Then, remove the dripper and serve your coffee.